with us today. So, Jimmy, carry on. Please tell a little bit yourself, and、um, uh, or I can also say all this New York bestseller, all the good stuff about <laughs> well, you. Well, I'm not a New York bestseller, but the woman who I studied and trained with. So I can introduce myself. You know, so hi, I'm. My name is Jimmy Allen.、Um, I am a love and relationship coach. My official title is、uh, I'm a calling in the one coach, which basically means I studied with、um, Catherine Woodward Thomas, who is the author of the book Calling in the One, and she is the、uh, New York Times bestseller of Calling in the One and Conscious Uncoupling. Uncoupling, and、uh, the whole experience just was divine intervention of me just becoming a coach. It just really. Found me in a series of ways, and I'm really grateful that this is what I do for a living. This is amazing for you to be here and to find your true passion and to, <laughs> hey, helping other people to be the one.、It's, yes. How do you get connected to her, and then what was the journey、uh, for you like? <sighs> um, how did I get connected to her? So. You know, a while back when I was, you know, going through a personal transformation course myself, and a friend of mine who introduced me to this course also introduced me to the book, and so I was like, "What is this book?" You know, calling in the one, and she was like, "Don't worry about it. Just go on Amazon, buy it, get it. It's going to change your life." I said, "Okay, sure." I did what she told me to do, and I bought the book. And it literally, I got obsessed with the book and all the teaching because it finally started. I, I finally started to make sense of why I was attracting what I was attracting, why I was feeling what I was, what I was feeling,、um, and the work <laughs> that I needed to do in order to become the one for the one and help me get really clear about what I wanted and needed because I. Let's face it. A lot of men I don't talk about these things, and it really helped me get so clear. And, and, and so, a part of the work in the book, you do it. A, you can do it as a group. So I invited two friends, and we did it as a group、um, thing once a week. And so, as we're in the group, I started to hear things differently because I, I guess, because I was doing all this other outside work besides the book. And my friends would say things that I can hear underneath what they were saying, and I would call my friends out. I said, "You're you're not telling the truth. You're you kind of bending the truth." And they would have these breakthroughs in these groups, and this like little group. I was just like, I thought I was just helping them out. And my friend said, "You're a coach," and I was just like, "What? Like coaching wasn't really on my wait radar." Um. Uh, at the time, and and coincidentally, I had ended up volunteering coaching for this program because I wanted to know, not because I wanted to be a coach, but I I I found the distinctions of this course so powerful. I was, I was like, okay, if I coach this program, not only do I get a coach for free, I have to really learn these tools in order to help other people in their life. And so I just volunteered to coach as a challenge. And, and at the time, I was like, "Well, it was, it'd be crazy if I had my participants were all men." And sure enough, every guy that I, every person I was coaching, were I had five men, and it was my sort of breakthrough, my own love life with men. And so, as I was still on this journey with like discovering what was in the way for my own life, you know, this friend of mine who kept saying I was a coach, she had this like. Massive breakthrough, and it really changed her life. Like literally, after I helped her discover something, she like she refurnished her house, she redid it, she lost weight. I like, you know, she started to put herself out there more after having been dating for eight years, and she was like, "This is what you're meant to do."、And、I was like, "Okay, maybe this is a sign. Like this keeps these people who I'm coaching, volunteering, also having these." Breakthroughs too, although it wasn't in per se in their love life, but it was in relationships that they had in their life. And so I was like, okay, you know, let me get still and put it in the universe. Like, universe, if this is what I was meant to do, please show me. And literally, it started happening more. And I, 
I um, ended up reading this other book called The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. And I got to this part, I was decluttering my bookshelf. And then in the book, it said, you know, when you declutter your bookshelf, stand back. <clears throat> and that's what you're meant to do. And literally all the books that I had were like, books on love, books on life, books on business. And I was just like, this cannot be happening right now. Like I kind of like had a flood of like, oh my God, this makes sense. And I literally in my mind saw how life has been preparing me for this moment, for this career, every, everything. And I went to the computer immediately after I had that sort of moment. I went online, I looked at the author of this book and I I kid you not, I've looked at this, looked up this woman, went on YouTube, look up all, I, I've been obsessed with her. And the moment that happened, I looked her up, there was an ad online that she was looking to train people to be coaches. And I was just like, you have got to be kidding me. <laughs> and I went on the website, I clicked on and I started reading the benefits and I just started crying. And I was like, this is, I, I felt so drawn and connected to it. I applied, I got accepted, got a partial scholarship. I was like, this is what I meant to do.